2004, Ed comes home and asks me if I want to do some paperwork for the Friendly Sons. I said, okay, the paying, right? Yes. So I go to Skip, or Skip and Toby's house to pick up the paperwork, and she was very grateful that there was somebody willing to take over this job. She literally handed me handwritten notebooks of everybody's name, telephone number, and address. Nothing was digital, nothing. The, uh, she'd type up mailing labels and stick them on and take a photo of them and then take them off to a printer somewhere who, so who would somehow print up mailing labels. But, so I came home that day and Ed sat down and read to me while I typed everything into a spreadsheet, everybody's name, address, phone number, membership number, when they joined, and if their dues were current. That took a few days. And so I kind of think I brought the Friendly Sons into the digital age and email, everything was written down or on postcards or mailed. Invitations were mailed to the luncheon, the black tie, reminders, everything was on a postcard. And getting emails from Friendly Sons, well, that was a trial 20 years ago. So uh, that was fun getting them set up. And after that, it was pretty easy. But uh, I remember uh, I asked Toby, or I asked Tom Henderson, what does it pay? Oh, it was $300 a month. Oh, really? So I, get, I, get the, I have the checkbook. And I said, Toby, what does he pay? Three fifty. So I gave myself four hundred. <laughs> Nobody ever knew. And Tim Adler gave me a raise. I think Tim gave me a raise. I think I missed it. Four fifty or five hundred. It's so like a hundred dollars a week. <laughs> much in person. Everything by the time I was doing it, everything was an email. Nobody called. You know, it was all emails. And I only saw people in person when I was checking them in for the lunch or the dinner or a golf tournament. The guys who ran the golf tournaments were pretty good about being involved because they were going to the course and talking to the pro and setting everything up, so. But mostly I did everything. So, because you can look at some past presidents here and, I mean, I wrote the agenda for the board meeting. I wrote the uh, um, financial reports every month. And I think the year they chose me is in 2015, I was, Irish Woman of the Year, and I think it's because that was the year Friendly Sons handed them a big check for like, I think it was maybe $12,000. So I think they gave, yes, I gave them that check because I certainly wasn't any part of their organization. And uh, and that was in the parade. That was the day the parade it was 90 degrees. It was so hot. I was sitting on the deck of that Corvette in the sun in mm -hmm. a wool uh, kilt, and, and I took my jacket off, and I think I had somebody gave me an umbrella for shade.